name's Anna and I'm one of the trainers at Mind Apples. And here at Mind Apples, we've been hearing from quite a few people recently saying how they're noticing that their moods have shifted quite a bit and they, they're changing quite a bit during these times. So I thought it'd be useful for us to have a quick video on understanding our moods and our emotions, what influences them and what are some of the things we can do to, to master our moods and to manage our moods better. Um, I guess it's not always easy or comfortable talking about our feelings. It's not something that we that we always do very often. But emotions are a natural part of our well-being. They're really important to a healthy mind. And our emotions affect how we work and how productive we are. So the first step is to notice how you're feeling. Tune in and be aware of what's going on. This might not always be as straightforward as it seems because sometimes we can experience mixed emotions at the same time. But remember that emotions and moods can and do change over time. And this, what we call self-regulation, is an important part of being able to manage your well-being, so being aware of it. We quite often talk about moods and emotions in the same context, but the, um, the emotions are something that we feel instinctively, automatically, and it's a response to a specific event. And they tend to be quite short-lasting. Whereas a mood is the underlying background feeling that is more persistent. It tends to last longer, it could be hours, or it could be um, days, perhaps even a week or so. We also tend to only talk about a good mood or a bad mood, whereas psychologists also look at moods in terms of the tension levels that we have and the energy levels that we have. So for example, someone be, could be feeling quite energetic and relaxed, or someone could be feeling quite energetic, but also very, very tense. The factors that tend to commonly affect our moods is, first of all, our personality. We seem to be predisposed to a sort of mood type. But again, there's lots of things we can do if we want to sort of master our moods and manage our moods. Um, hormone changes can play a big part. Um, caffeine, food, um, certain sort of uh, sugars, alcohol can uh, can make a difference. And also there's external factors, so events and situations can boost or drop our mood levels. But there's various things that we can do to boost our moods um, if we need to and manage our moods. And it really is very much dependent on whether you need to raise your energy levels or whether you need to uh, reduce your tension levels, so switch off and relax. Common things that people tend to do to raise energy levels is going for a run, doing some sport, socialising, listening to music. Some of the popular things to release tension and to relax and unwind are things like, um, again, listening to music, um, maybe going for a gentle stroll, doing some gardening, reading a book. And the key to all of these things is knowing what works best for you. Also, the more you enjoy it, the more of an impact and effect it's going to have. So consciously try to tune into your mood. Notice how you're feeling. What are your tension levels like? What are your energy levels like? And then do what works best for you. So what you enjoy, what's good for you to boost your energy levels, and also what you know works well for you to reduce your tension levels, to help you relax and wind and switch off and recharge those mental energies. I hope this has been useful for you. Please keep checking back in with us. We've got loads more videos and top tip sheets. And also we'd love to hear from you. How are you getting on and what do you do to, to manage your moods? And in the meantime, take care. Bye.